Good evening. How are we doing? We okay? Everybody's good? So, let's get started here. Uh, my job is to talk about this topic here relative to the spectrum of care that chiropractors are engaged in. Okay? We're going to talk about this landscape we find ourselves in. And as most of you probably know, but for those that don't, you know, the lens through which I look at this. I run a malpractice insurance program. I've been involved as an expert witness for over 20 years now defending straight chiropractors. And I, I use the air quote just because, you know, I don't know that that term has any meaning anymore. I mean, it used to. I grew up in this profession. I grew up around the straight faction of the profession, and, and, and when I grew up in the profession with that term, that term meant something. If you said you were a straight chiropractor, people knew what you were talking about. I don't think anybody knows what you're talking about anymore when you say that. You could be doing this, you could be doing that, who knows? So the lens that I look at this through is through that defense of chiropractors over the years who have been, who have had to fight for their lives, literally, okay? Because somebody within our profession went after them for the style of practice that they embraced. Who, who in here saw the movie uh, Pulp Fiction? Anybody see Pulp Fiction? All right, my kind of crap. <laughs> I'm Mr. Wolf, you understand? I get those phone calls, you know what I'm saying? And I got to go in and clean it up, and I got to help these people. And I have sat through long nights with many chiropractors over the years, holding their hand through some pretty dark times. And, and you don't realize it until you're in the midst of it. You don't realize until you're in the midst of of a regulatory board who is supposed to be your brethren trying to take away your livelihood and your right to practice, to try to take your license away from you. And, you know, people talk about malpractice and patients suing them. You know, for the straight chiropractor these days, what you got to be more worried about are the regulatory boards, to be very honest with you. So we're going to get into this a little bit here today. Obviously, I, I probably don't need to spend much time on this, but, you know, my focus is this. My focus is the strategic competitive advantage of the chiropractic profession, which is vertebral subluxation. I understand that chiropractors do other things, but chiropractic is not what chiropractors do, you see. And I'm not putting down anything else that people do in their practice. You can do whatever, you, else you, want, whatever you want to do in your practice. But let's understand what chiropractic is. And chiropractic is the location analysis and correction of vertebral subluxation. All right, so we're, gonna, we're starting with that premise. The problem is that <clears throat> what's happening in the regulatory environment, what's happening in the political environment in, in our profession is subluxation-centered chiropractors are being couched or being framed as committing fraud. I mean, this is the type of stuff that's going on. Examples of this. And I'm just giving you a couple of, I could give you hundreds of, exam, uh, hundreds of examples of this. We had, not too long ago in Europe, all of the schools over there, except for a couple of them, Barcelona, McTimony, all signed this statement, this anti-subluxation position statement, relegating subluxation to history, and making this statement that if you're evidence-based, then how could you embrace subluxation? I was having a conversation with uh, Dr. McMaster earlier this afternoon. The, you know, the reality is that the detractors on the allopathic side of our profession that want us to be a subset of medicine, they're the ones that don't have the evidence, but they have been able to interject this intellectual sleight of hand, and they've gotten so good at it that they've been able to make it look like we're the ones that don't have the evidence. And we actually have more evidence than they do for our style of practice. 
That's the reality of it.